students. All right, so welcome back. Um, thank you for tuning in, even though you have to because you're my students. <laughs> so media, I asked you last week about what is media? What does it mean to you? What is media? Well, guess what? It is all around us, whether we realize it or not. It is so pervasive that I believe we spend more than two thirds of our waking hours consuming media. And when I mean consuming, I don't mean eating, but just like eating, we're taking it in. We're digesting it every single day in so many ways. Some of you listed what is media to you. You talked about social media, newspapers, things like that. Yes, it is that. And it is also all around us, like I said, but it's in magazines. I brought some magazines here to show you. Um, HGTV, that's my favorite because it's about decorating. Love to decorate. Um, Napa Valley Magazine, I write for them. And have any of you been to Napa Valley? I've been a few times. And, oh, Poets and Writers. Yes, very cool magazine if you're a poet or a writer. Um, books, okay, did you list books as media? Because it is. This is a really cool book in a really cool container. It's on photography. It's like, it's got this little box container thing. Is this an unboxing? But really cool, it's all about photography. It's, uh, Awesome, awesome, awesome. So books are media. TV is media. Some of you mentioned that. Um, this is a vintage TV. It's a Walkman. I'm sorry, Watchman. <laughs> Not a Walkman. It's a Watchman TV. It's so cool. Um, I've had this since I was a teenager. Pretty cool. Um, what else? I, I talked about TV, broadcast news, entertainment TV as well. Film, going to the movies, newspapers, books, all kinds of things. I mean, media is all around us. It's even actually on my shirt, which is part of advertising. Because if you can tell, it's Mickey Mouse. And that's a form of advertising. So billboards, um, ads, those are all media. It's, it's something that you're taking in. Like even when you drive somewhere from A to B locations, you've looked at so much advertising that you don't even realize it. Like every car has a label, pretty much every car has a label on the back of it to tell you what brand it is. That's advertising, that's media, that's what you're consuming. And, and so this first chapter though is about media literacy. So what is that? And I'm gonna read their definition, which is awesome. It's the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, and create messages in a wide variety of forms. So the other forms also, YouTube, what I'm doing right now, that's media. Uh, but media literacy, getting back to that, is the ability to do those things, to create, to have access to it. Some people don't have access to newspapers or TV or cable or uh, streaming videos. They don't have access to that. So what is your media literacy? Like how well are you able to understand what you're reading, what you're watching on this video? How well are you able to understand and analyze it? And also how, what's your ability? What's your level? What's your media literacy level on creating content that, well, our messages that's going out to the masses and what is that message saying? So anyway, just wanted to do this little short video on media literacy and what media is. It's all around us and how often we are consuming it. I think also the textbook says that the average person checks their cell phone, which is a form of media, at least 52 times a day. I probably surpass that because I'm checking emails, I'm checking videos, I'm checking text messages, I'm making a phone call, um, but I'm constantly on my phone. And so yeah, the average person's 52. That's what it says in the book. I think it's higher than that. Anyway, media, media literacy. What's your level? Okay, let me find my remote so I can